We are so back. Welcome to the party. Glad you made it. Glad you're here. Glad to be seeing you. Glad to be laughing with you. Glad to be learning with you. Kind of want to adjust my screen a little bit now that we're rocking and rolling. Okay, that is better. So welcome back. Today is a little bit of a different week. Let's talk about why it's a different week. Wait, my Twitch won't give me the stream. I just went light, live on there, not light. Um, so let's talk about why we're shaming the rich on Zillow and we're not doing what we normally do where we do like Nearpod and we like talk about a specific topic. I had to spend my entire weekend applying to grad school. Let's discuss it because, okay, so this is the situation. I told myself that I wasn't gonna talk about this on the internet, but Oh my God, a dispensary parking lot has been subscribed for 17 months in a row. Thank you. Our subscriber baby is getting so big. But anyway, so I, I've been saying I'm being forced to go to grad school, which is a lie. And I told myself I wasn't going to talk about this on the internet, but I just really like talking about it because it's really annoying me and it's not anyone's fault. So like if my boss or not my boss, but like if my job gets mad at me, like I never said it was your fault. It's just the situation that it is. But anyway, so I need to get like fully licensed as a teacher. I won't get into why I'm not. Florida sucks. That's all I will say about it. Um, so I need to get licensed. So basically, I'm on like a certification right now that's going to expire. And so they are basically like, I knew this when I got hired. This was made abundantly clear to me. They were like, you can either do a certification program or you can do a master's program and they have a list of approved master's program. So I know everyone is like being all like trying to be helpful and they're coming from a good place by giving me like, oh, do this school, do this school. It's like a very specific list that I can choose from and most of them are not online. So like I have very, very limited choices here. So I picked a school and I had went to like, and because I'm on top of my shit and I have my shit together, before school even started, I went to an info session for that school to like make sure that that's the school I wanted to go to. And I assumed 100% I would get in. I'll tell you why I assumed 100% that I would get into the program. Because when I went to that thing, they were going through the admission requirements and it said if you had a 3.5 GPA, you didn't have to submit GRE scores. I had a 3.8, so I was like, if they're already exempting me from things, I'm definitely going to get in. Like, you know, and it's also like not a very good school. I won't tell you the school, but it's like not a great school. So I got so mad because these people literally in December, I had like finished my entire application and they confirmed, yes, we have everything that we need. They come back literally like late January and like it's almost the season where they're going to be doing contract renewals so like I really need to get this like taken care of so that I don't lose my job because I'm like not compliant with what I'm literally supposed to be doing so literally late January they get back to me and they're like hey we actually can't let you in because you didn't take enough history classes when you were in college and so I replied to them and I was like yeah because I did well on AP exams in high school I like exempted out of them. So now these people want my AP scores and so they're really just pissing me off. So like I got, I'm getting them my scores but the college board people, if your exam was after a certain number of years, they can only do it through snail mail which makes literally no sense. But anyway, that's on the way there. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. So that's why I was like, I really need to like get my shit to get, oh, this is what I want to tell you. So because I've been having pro like problems with that one school that I wanted to go to, um, some very smart people that I work with, because I was literally freaking the fuck out. They were like, apply to some other random programs just so you have like a backup plan and so that you can at least be like, have something so that your contract can be written. Because like, I can always change my mind later, but like I need to get my contract for next year's employment. So I applied over the weekend to like a bunch of the other programs, but I'm actually like, I'm trying to be very much like everything happens for a reason. Like we're all in our moment, we're all in our vibe because now that like I've gone through this process, I'm kind of thinking the original program I wanted to do, like those people clearly kind of suck and like don't have their shit together. And one of the other programs I'm looking at, like I really, really, really like them so far. So I was like, maybe it's a blessing in disguise of like I might end up in a 
program that I like better or that I'll get more out of or whatever. But it's been a time. Like, it has been a time dealing with it. So I was like, we just need to be on stream. We need to be making fun of rich people's houses. That's like all I have the capacity to do is make fun of people right now. Um, nine foot garland lights completed the pipeline, but was four stops with a second stop being the podcast. Jesus fucking Christ. Do they want money or not? That's what my boyfriend said. He was like, babe, you just need to call these people and be like, so what's the deal? Do you want me in this program? Do you not want me in this program? Because like, I'm sorry, this is going to make me sound like such a pretentious asshole. And I'm sure one day later in my life, I will see this clip and want to jump off a bridge. But like, what do you mean you don't want me in your grad program? I literally graduated magna cum laude from a school that's higher ranked than yours. I'm famous online and I have multiple teaching awards for a teaching program. Like, you guys actually fumbled the bag so bad. Because if I end up getting more clout later and I went to your school, that would look so good for you. But no, you needed to see what classes I took when I was 15 years old. You had to see that. So like, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I still might go there because they let you do your work asynchronously. And that seems pretty important to me. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to see who lets me in. And then move from there, I guess. I don't even know 15-year-old me. Exactly. And that's what I was telling my students. I was like, never have I ever said this to kids in my life because I always believed it was a lie. But apparently, your actions in high school really do come back to haunt you. Like, they really, really do. Because I had to dig this information up. You know? But anyway, we're here. Let's get into having fun. For those of you on TikTok, if you were going to pick a night to come to Twitch, I highly recommend it be tonight. We are making fun of people's houses on Zillow, only rich people, not working class people because we're scumbags, but we're not assholes. Um, and I recommend that you come so you can see my screen on Twitch. Also, quick announcement for everybody. <clears throat> Um, on next week, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be streaming. Stop emailing me. Stop emailing me. Can I live? Can I live? But anyway, next week is Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be streaming on Tuesday instead of on Wednesday. We will be talking about Dr. Phil. So I don't really like Dr. Phil. So if you're a Dr. Phil fan, you will be in the minority. You are still welcome to come. Um, we're scumbags, but we're not assholes. I'm dying. I took that from a podcast. It's called Small Town Murder that two comedians have. I definitely stole that joke from them. But anyway, next week we'll be here Tuesday to learn about Dr. Phil. So if you think you're going to come here on Wednesday and you're going to find me, you will be incorrect because we will be here on Tuesday. Um, stream on my work TV while bartending. Liter if you... If you work at a bar and you put me on your TV, send me a motherfucking picture. I'm obsessed with that. I need to see that in my life. I absolutely love that. I almost got fired from a bar that I worked at one time because I put on the puppy bowl during the Super Bowl and people were very upset about that. But in my defense, I did it on one of 12 TVs that we had. So like, don't get fired. Don't get fired. Like if it, if it is in any way risky to you, don't do it. Just to clarify, don't do it. Um, so my school is making us do parent teacher conferences on Valentine's day. That's actually hilarious that you say that because my school, we were supposed to do them that day. And then they were like, oh my God, that's Valentine's day. And then they canceled it. Well, they just rescheduled it. Two weeks ago, I was Gilmore Girls. I got you. Okay. Tonight's Capri Sun flavor is strawberry kiwi. Let's go ahead and look at some houses. So I wanted to have something to get y'all talking up for when we first started. So I went with this Barbie house, but let's look at our plan for this evening. So the first couple that I have are submissions from other people that they sent me. Um, and then I found a lot myself. So this Barbie one was not the um, first one that we looked at, but we'll get back to it. So this one was from a fourth grade teacher in Minnesota. Hi, Mr. Dacted. Love your Sheena stream tonight. Here's a crazy eat the rich house in Minnesota. So we're going to start with this one in Minnesota. 
First thing off of the bat, this looks like a home that was built by someone who made their profits off like children working in coal mines. Like this is a coal mine owner's house. Absolutely. You're not going to be able to convince me otherwise. Like, please look at the, what's it called? Like a trusset or something like that. The little fucking, the, <laughs> like the cylinder on the side. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, strawberry kiwi is the worst one. Listen, I bought a multi-pack and I'm getting through it. Okay. Turret. Yes. Mad Dogs 1216, thanks for subscribing. It looks like it's supposed to be in the Tim Burton movies. Yes, it will be on YouTube later. We will always be on YouTube. Saw an article about you on Facebook. That's the most terrifying sentence I've ever heard in my life. Now I forget what it was about. Give me a sec. Well, that made me want to throw up. What are they saying? <laughs> Please tell me what it said. I actually had such a jump scare the other day. We were recording the podcast and we were talking about like funny news stories that involve schools. So I was like Googling, trying to find them. And I found, oh my God, thank you, King Kyla, for gifting so many subscriptions. So I was trying to find funny news stories online and I found in a BuzzFeed article that I was interviewed for that I completely fucking forgot about. I had like no memory of it until I saw it. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> but anyway, back to this person's house. It's 11,000 square feet, eight beds, 12 baths, $1.95 million. It is pending. So what that means is, oh my God, this is like actually way funner now that I know shit about real estate. We should have been doing this much longer ago. Um, what pending means is that the offer has been accepted, but the deal hasn't gone through yet. So like you technically could still make an offer on it if you wanted to. I'm not hating the landscaping. That furniture is kind of awkward. I feel like it would have been better to have nothing there. Okay, very interesting. Look at the double garage on the back. That's definitely a remodel. It is ominous. It does look like a murder happened here. Look at those stairs. I do. Okay, I will say, like, even though the architecture is kind of comical, this is in St. Paul, Minnesota. Even though the architecture outside is comical, this staircase eats. This staircase is absolutely gorgeous with the platform. Like imagine the fight with your significant other you could have on that stair platform. Imagine that. Cinematic, if you will. Um, okay, the, this listing photographer knows what the hell they're doing. Oh, I hate that couch. That couch looks very uncomfortable. It's very aesthetic, but I hate it. Oh, I hate these stools. Why are they even there? What is that? There's a whole neighborhood of these. They're stunning. It's giving Benedict Cumberbatch. What does one do with eight bedrooms? I can see having eight bedrooms because me and my boyfriend live in a three bedroom house and we use every room and we share a bedroom. So like I understand if you had like four kids, I can understand why you would want an eight bedroom house because like, but this looks like they have other shit. 12 baths is a little ridiculous, but like I was going to say because you need like offices or like if you want to have a workout room, but it kind of seems like this house already has like a lot of parlors and shit like that. I don't think this is virtual staging. No, because there's like you can see the light reflecting on things. I don't think it's virtual. Um, The listing photographer really is kind of eating though. We're, wait, what the fuck was that? What is that light fixture? I need more information about that immediately. Who picked that? I, okay, I don't hate the light fixture, but I do hate it in this house. Like, you could have had, like, a gorgeous chandelier there that, like, really fit the house. This looks like it should be in, like, a artist loft in Tribeca or something, you know? That was a creative decision for sure. There's a famous golf golfer that lives down the street from my parents, and he has a castle-style look on the side of a mountain. I always dreamed to live my Disney princess dreams. That's hilarious. I got, I just, back to the light. Let's keep talking about the light. I just don't like that. I really don't like that. I also don't like this kitchen table. It looks like a conference room. Okay, normally I dislike dark cabinets, but it works. Stop showing me the light. Like, I, I don't want to see the light. Um, what is, what? How did you have all this gorgeous furniture in this house and then suddenly we just get to the most awkward room I've ever seen? What is this portrait on the far left? What does that mean? Who is that? Whose child is that? Sorry, I keep burping. I had a huge dinner. I was starving. Okay, perfect. A nice little murder safe bunker door. 
Just perfect, perfect, perfect. Interesting corner sink. I love a historical feature in a home. Wait, that light fixture is great. Why didn't they put that in the kitchen? This one's gorgeous. That is a perfect light fixture to have like modern vibes in a historic house. I like the bubble chandelier. Y'all might disagree with me. I like the bubble chandelier per personally. Also like that chair back there, even though it doesn't fit the vibe. The photography really is gorgeous here. Okay, they did a good job with this room. They did a good job with it. Why is that chair there? That you literally, why is that chair there? Also, who didn't clean that mirror? See, these are the little things. If any real estate agents are watching, people notice this shit. The chair, like literally, I'm sorry. I'm so mad about that chair. Why is it there? Why is it, like you could have moved it. It has no need to be there. You have a burning, you have a wood burning fireplace behind a vinyl and wooden chair. You could have had nothing there. That chair's $5,000? Why is it $5,000? That Monstera plant is pretty. <gasps> that is nice. That is nice. I know we said we were going to shame the rich, but these rich people kind of know what they're doing. Could have picked better cabinets, but whatever. A sauna? Shit. See, this is old money. This is definitely old money. This room is better. Better job with this one. Children's art, we love. Okay, the wallpaper is too much. I do really like the wallpaper. This is what I would have done. I would have only done <clears throat> maybe these side walls. Can you guys see my mouse, by the way? Like when I'm like jiggling my mouse on things, can you see that or no? Probably not. So anyway, I would not do, no, I didn't think so. I would not do the um, printed wallpaper above the fireplace. I do like that elephant sculpture there. Elephant sculpture needs to be bigger. It needs to maybe just have black or white. Actually black. Yeah, I would do black so it blends in with the, the wood on the fireplace. I would only do that print on the side walls and maybe just one of them. Even though, oh my God, I just realized this is a baby's room. Agreed. Love the wallpaper, but they need a giant mirror painting or something over the fireplace. Like, I like that elephant. I think it just needs to be much bigger and it needs to have a neutral background. Yeah, this does not feel like a child's room. Like that crib, the way we didn't notice it. I feel like you can clearly see what came in the house and what was added. That's such a creepy nursery. Yeah, it's really not sitting well with me at all. Interesting. Oh, that's nice. That looks like my old couch that I sold on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, that's pretty. They did a good job with this room too. I know a guy who's a real estate agent in Nashville. One of the houses he's showing has a whole bowling alley inside. That's very Real Housewives of him. Here's a, was it, what did, what did you all say this is called? A turret? Okay. Is that the same chair? Did they move the chair between shots? I'm not mad at it here. It fits here. But I'm, why'd you move it? I'm still mad that it was in the other bedroom. They have a lot of offices, the turret. So we're starting off very, very strong with that one. Thank you to a fourth grade teacher in Minnesota who sent me that. So we're going to move on to the Barbie house now. So this is actually currently for sale. This is in Hudson, Wisconsin, if anyone knows where that is. It is 5,000... 5,600 square feet, seven bedrooms, and four bathrooms. Seems much more reasonable bathroom to bedroom ratio. It was built in 1900. Um, so if you have $1.1 million laying around, feel free to buy the Barbie house. I don't think it is like an officially Barbie house, but that's what I'm calling it. They have a pink G-Wagon. I've definitely driven past that house before, really. So look, they literally have Barbie art. Um, I'm a little mad that the Barbie art is on the ground. It would have been really, really, really fucking easy to just hang it on that wall behind the staircase, but it's fine, I guess. Don't like the black couch. Would have done a white couch. That rug is also too small for that space. The rug needs to be going further under the couch. Boring, sloppy, lazy. If you're going to turn a million dollar house in Wisconsin into a Barbie house do it right. Okay. Do it right. Um, Barbie would never have 
wood that looked like that. Barbie would never approve that plant either. See, this, this is evoking a very specific feeling for me, and I'm going to do my best to put it into words and not be offensive. This house reminds me of when there's a TV show that's very obviously written by all white people, and they have like a minority character but the character is written so bad that you can tell that the writing was not done by someone that was of that race that's what i feel like this house is to the barbie universe not that those are comparable things but it's like someone wanted to make a barbie house but that person does not know barbie like they wanted to make a barbie house kind of like a this is like the high C of Barbie houses. This this house to Barbie is high C to orange juice. That's a better analogy. Like, yeah, high C is kind of orange juice, but not really. It's really not, if you think about it. Like, the, like they have so much of the vision, but, like, the pinks don't match. And I know that you can have multiple pinks. Like, clearly, I have multiple pinks. Let me hide some of the the dot pink clearly I have multiple pinks but they don't have enough pinks you know what I mean and the pinks aren't right because like that's gold this this unicorn doesn't match the flamingos like Barbie just wouldn't do this and then like the avocados the pink avocados I get but like it's giving easter egg like I'm who the fuck left those cords there who real estate agents you make millions of dollars for doing almost nothing. And don't try and tell me what you do, because I've observed it, and it's not much. The least you can motherfucking do is move the cords. All the black is really throwing it off. The Barbie core castle, but it's not. It's not. And then, like, please don't do coke in the bathroom. And then, like, you don't even have a cord that's the right length, and you couldn't even hide it. And then, like, some of the Barbies are crooked. Barbie would never have this, like, weird gazelle thing or this claw hand. Like, it's really – whoever designed this did not – they're not a Barbie girl, and it's fine for you to not be a Barbie girl. Macroaggressions against real estate agents. I'm inclusive of everybody except real estate agents. And then the trash can. Be serious. The Barbie would never have that yellow table. You couldn't even push the stool in for your little photo shoot. And then, like, this is the very obviously just, like, party streamers. Like, this is actually upsetting me to look at. And then, like, the fairy... This is not good, y'all. What is happening? What is that art? What is that man? Why is it blue? Why is there... Why is there a naked male blue mannequin in the Barbie house? And shitty candle pedestal... Shitty pedestal candle holders with melted candles. You couldn't go to motherfucking Dollar Tree and get little tea light candles and scrape the melted bullshit off and just set a little tea light candle and then burn the wick and then immediately blow it out. This is the Mojo Dojo Casa House. And then the art doesn't even fit in the frame. Like this is so wrong and offensive to look at. And then like that art doesn't even have a frame. It's not at this. It's not level with whatever the little weird rainbow castle above the toilet. Like the sink doesn't match at all. This is god awful. Like someone really got this historic house and wanted to make it the Barbie Mansion, but they didn't have the budget to do so. And then like, what's going on here? Like it's oh, it's fucking Candy Cane. What's that? What's that game? Candyland. It's Candyland and a Louis Vuitton blanket and a 1950s hair dryer. Like, this is not culture. What the fuck? That doesn't even match at all. This is like literally so poorly done. And the fact that some of the house doesn't even match with it, what is happening in this basement? There's a stripper pole. This is not a Barbie house. Like, this is absolutely terrifying. This is a crime. This is an absolute crime. And the bat furniture, like, did they get a deal on this furniture? Was it lack of budget or ingenuity? I think both. This is a man's house. This is a man that thought he was going to have like this fucking groundbreaking idea to make a Barbie Airbnb, but you failed. You're a failure. 
this bathroom is really a lot. Then the Barbie sticker on the toilet, like lazy, sloppy. The art doesn't even fit in the frame. The shower curtain is like from the dollar store. Some creepy man made this house to Hansel and Gretel women. That's absolutely true. It feels like someone who knew it would make them money and they thought Barbie fans would be easy to please so he didn't do his research. That is exactly what this is giving. That is exactly what's happening here. This what is what is this room? It's a sink and a bathtub, but it looks like it has an exterior door. That's really jarring. There is so much potential and they blew it. This room is cute. This is the only room that I think is Barbie approved so far. This is it. You got one. You got one singular one. This is not a bedroom. This is an attic. You would literally look at this chandelier with the chains hanging over the bed. You would literally wake up and hit your face on chains. I'm offended. More weird attic rooms. Oh, a cinema room with velvet walls that the velvet is very obviously stapled onto the walls and they didn't even cut it professionally. It was literally cut with scissors. Look at the bottom left corner. Look at the bottom left corner. I'm offended. I'm angry. I'm upset. This is upsetting. Outside is cute. The pool is kind of cute. The pool, I will, I will grant them the pool and hot tub is cute. That's all they're getting from me. This is very obviously a fake photo. Great job for including that. Oh my God, is it not even pink? What? Okay, no, it is pink. God. That was a time. We laughed, we cried. This person sent a couple. So we're going to go through all the ones that they sent. That was the Barbie house. This one is in Minnesota. It is $4.5 million, five beds, nine baths, 9,000 square feet. Oh, this is where I want to live. No one would talk to you ever. That's amazing. That gave me a stomach ache, Loki. No, I was literally thinking that. I was like, why do I like not feel good right now? This is an island. Very sparsely furnished, but I like that in a listing photo. I really don't have much to roast with this one. This is exactly how listing photos should be. You should have very minimal art and very minimal furniture. It should all be very neutral. Good job. This address is one bald eagle is white bear. I'm being so serious. One bald eagle is white bear. That's their address. It's a made up ass address. That's how, when someone has an address that's like one or zero, that's because they bought so much land that they built their own road. Is is for island. Oh, that makes sense. That makes more sense. White Bear Lake. Hmm. But anyway, back to listing photos. This is gorgeous. I don't have anything to roast. Do you see how they have a normal person theater where they have couches and not awkward movie theater chairs that they probably bought on Facebook Marketplace? This is gorgeous. Nothing negative to say, so we're gonna move on because these people did a very nice job and I'm not gonna go through all 70 of their photos, but nice job to that real estate agent. And then this person, they also said, this isn't a shaming the rich in the way that we're making fun of their taste, but someone said, I just think the landlord should be embarrassed to rent this place out for $1,200. This is also in Minnesota. I'm, oh, they brought it down. Now it's $1,100. They just hit a price cut. They're renting this for even $1,100 in Minnesota. It's literally Minnesota. Jesus Christ. That landlord should be embarrassed. Um, do, do, do. Here's another one that they sent me. This is in Toronto, Canada. Um, it appears to be, this is Ice Boat Terrace 3306, 3.9 million Canadian, four bed, four bath. Is this a houseboat? Oh no, it's in a big building. Interesting. I don't like that this like living room is a hallway. I feel like this house is very choppy. Like it's a, it doesn't even say the square footage, but it's like, you don't really like, do you see what I mean? Like all of it is very chopped up. Like you don't have any big rooms. It's a condo. Yeah. But like, why do, why is there no big rooms? Like there's not a living room. You see what I mean? Like every room is like a hallway. I don't understand. I'm moving to Michigan for a job, and in a rural area, the only things available for rent are 1400 plus. It's insane. 
I like it. I want walls. Don't look at me. But I mean, like, okay, this is a decent sized room, but I just meant like I hadn't seen a living room. I wouldn't be able to take a bath here. I would just feel way too exposed. Like, even though no one can really see you, I would feel seen. This is nice. It's in like a very, like, this is a very rich person building. This is a very rich person building. Like, what, what is, what do you play here? What sport is that? They don't even have in unit and it's 3.9? No pods. No pods. <laughs> It's very strict. For 3.9 million, you'd think you'd be able to use pods. Oh, it's this. That's why it's a weird shape, because it's in this little skywalk thing. That's why they have such a good view. Interesting, interesting. No wonder it's so motherfucking expensive, and it's awkwardly shaped. It's suspended in the air between two high-rises. That kind of gives me anxiety, I think. There's the big rooms. Now we have big rooms. That's much better. It was just the entryway, I think. No, I'm not interested in drawing this home. Thanks, though. Um. Oh, there's tours of it on YouTube, if anyone wants to watch. And then this is in Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, this is $215,000. Is this inside of a mall? What is this? Apartment 307. This looks like a mall. What is happening here? Why is this $215,000? I'm very confused about what this building is. Did they tell me? That it, what is this place? I'm so confused. I recently learned that residential yachts exist and that is a vibe. That is kind of a vibe. These have been going viral for years. What is this? Like it's glass? People can just see inside your apartment? Why is it turning malls into apartments? They couldn't have put walls? Why is it glass? <laughs> so those were all of the ones that were submitted to me. Let's go ahead and go through the ones that I found. I was originally on like a Real Housewives kick when I first started this. So the first one I want to look at is Kim Zolciak's house or Zolciak. I always mispronounce her name. Um, I actually haven't had an update on Kim in a while. If To my boyfriend, if you're watching this, I'm about to spoil Kim's life for you. I know that you're very fascinated. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> he does not care. I am very fascinated by Kim Zolkiak. And last I heard was when I was streaming about her. She was like getting divorced, but not getting divorced. And it was just like a lot going back and forth. And the police had been called to her house multiple times. And it's just a lot going on. So this is her house that she lives in with her husband, Croy Bierman. We can tour it tomorrow at 11 a.m. if we want. This is in Milton, Georgia, which I think is not too far outside of Atlanta. Um, and her house is for sale because she has no money. It is up for $4.5 million. It is seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, almost 16,000 square feet. Um, do it and live stream it. Don't threaten me with a good time. I couldn't stream it, but I could YouTube it. So I would have to edit it. But anyway, um, y'all making me think. Don't make me think. Don't make me think. Anyway, let's look at their house. This is the house that she bought when she moved in with Croy after they had their children. It's huge. Has half a basketball court. I feel like what's the point of half a basketball court? If you're going to go for it, just go for it. You know, is there really that much more expensive to do the full basketball court? I love a circle driveway. I will say that. Um, I hate her wallpaper. This is the most visually overstimulating room I've seen in a while. Oh, perfect. Just to add to the visual stimulation, there's also gold-plated cabinets. Amazing. This is her office, I think. I can tell that the real estate agent made her take down most of the pictures of herself. I think that is her wedding picture above the fireplace. But that's a good real estate agent, making you take down all your weird-ass photos of yourself. Um, would immediately get dizzy and fall apart in the wallpaper room. I really, really don't like when people put in like black bathroom things like tubs and toilets. I feel like they always look dirty because they always have water stains on them, like the little rings, like the white spots from water. And I feel like it just people do it because they think it looks luxurious. But I really just don't think it does. 
like, and the full-size photo of Marilyn Monroe. And, like, if you are going to have a print wallpaper, I, I'm going to be honest, I would not choose this wallpaper for a bathroom, but I don't hate it. I think that this wallpaper could work for a bathroom if you had no art, a giant mirror, and everything was all white. The toilet white, the cabinet whites, the ceiling white, everything was all white, the trim white, like white tile. If you had everything white and super basic and you had a few big mirrors, this wallpaper could work, but it's just not working. It's really, 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 really not. Um, does she know how to play the piano? More gold-plated cabinetry. I think that's a fridge, actually. Not a bad breakfast nook. I would have done the curtains differently, personally. What is that? What is that circle seat? That's like where you try on shoes. No one's sitting in that seat. That looks so awkward to sit in. I do like the backyard a lot. I love a pool. Therapist chair. God knows that fucking family needs it. But yeah, this is Kim Zolkiak's house. If you want to buy it, I'm sure she would be very grateful. There's a picture of Croy, her husband, that she's, I'm sure, torturing. Don't like the wood. Do not like the wood. Too much wood. Way too much. Zero stars. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Why does everyone have these, like, weird safes? Liberty safes. Like, what are you, what's, what is this? I bet it's for guns. I know they're, like, gun people. Um, more ugly theaters. The zebra print carpet was absolutely unnecessary. Really, really, really unnecessary carpet. Imagine just having enough money to buy furniture just to style an open space that has hardly any function. No, literally. Like, I have, like, multiple places in my house where there's just piles of things on the floor. So when eventually I get a cabinet or a table, that's where those things will go. So I'm not really in that category of, like, having a fucking night in your pool room. Well, that's kind of fun for the kids. You play video games and whatnot. Those kids will definitely turn out normal and not messed up at all. A tanning bed, if anyone wants skin cancer, a massage room, perfect. What is her fascination with printed wallpaper? I'm really not, like, I'm not about it, not into it. Like, why do you have a little, like, mini kitchen table in this little, I guess this is, like, this, like, server's kitchen in the basement, in the maid's quarters, I guess? That's where she lives now. The judge made her go move downstairs. This is her daughter's room, I think. This is a lot. This is a lot to unpack. Moving on from Kim. Let's look at, the rest of these are just random houses. So that was the submissions and Kim's house. The rest of these are just random ass houses that I found in various places across America. So the first section we have is Park City, Utah. Park City, Utah is a very, very wealthy neighborhood um, outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. This is $14.4 million, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 6,600 square feet. It is on 1.3 acres. It was built in 2021. So this is a COVID era house. So it'll probably fall apart very shortly. I will say I don't hate the architecture from the outside. This house is really giving corporate retreat. My request is the Miss Jen Shaw. I should have done Jen Shaw. So this area looks fucking gorgeous. Yes, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City ladies, a lot of them do live in Park City, Utah. So that's kind of why I picked this because I was already feeling Real Housewives from Kim, but this is just random houses. Gorgeous view. Love that. You're very close to your neighbors. Like I really don't like how close you are to your neighbors. I feel like Kind of the point of having $14.4 million to spend on a house is to get some privacy. I have seen Mary's house, but a lot of their houses aren't on Zillow because they've had them for a while. But Whitney Rose just put her house on Zillow and literally every single TV in the house is on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And all of the photos have like product placement of her makeup line or not her makeup, her skincare, whatever the fuck she's doing. Um, but yeah, I don't like how close the neighbors are. Okay, this isn't bad. These two chairs are tiny. That's awkward. I think they're for kids, but they should have just taken them out of the shot because it looks weird. Um, I thought this was like a compound. The houses are neighbors. I think the houses are neighbors. That's what it looks like to me. Like, there's no way that all of this is like and up there. I think this is one house. 
But I think the one up on the top left is a different house because there's a different car up there. So there's like, unless they have multiple driveways, I don't really know. Because it's 6,000 square feet. That's a lot, but that's not like a compound compound. It does kind of look like a ski resort. Maybe it's one of those places where you buy it and it's like a part of a center. It looks very much like an Airbnb to me. Like I would stay here. This is nice. They have pretty good taste. Why did I put this one on here? Well, I don't have anything mean to say about these people. Nice job. Oh, I love a bunk bedroom. So functional. It looks like they're building one next door. It does have zero personality. That's why I said it looks like an Airbnb. But good to sell. I don't like those mirrors. Those are like very Dr. Seuss mirrors. I don't like that. Red Cross pillow. Interesting. In case anyone needs that. Weird, um, sad beige baby ping pong table. Oh my God, you found Jen Shaw's address. You're insane. Let me look it up. One second. Sorry if you just heard me like snorting my snot. I do that a lot. Sorry about that. Okay, this is Jen Shaw's house. It's not for sale right now in this is Sotheby's concierge auctions her house was up for auction apparently I don't think this is her furniture because I think this was after they sold it so it's like staged furniture but her house is extra as fuck girl I saw the pic of her in prison today I'm obsessed what do you have against Dr. Seuss google Dr. Seuss racism google it right now I'm so serious y'all gonna learn some stuff today but anyway this house is like yeah this looks exactly like what it is like it was sold and a bank owns it and hired a stager to just come in and do something super super basic like there's the giant picture of the horse this is absolutely stage furniture where would you have put the peloton in this house i feel like it should have its own room with an elaborate view for 14 million i agree it makes me mad when people don't organize closets for photos because it's not that much work you could just take everything out and put it on the bed and then put it back after you take the photo you know not that hard. But anyway, moving on from Park City, Utah to a different house in Park City, Utah. This is $26 million, eight bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 9,000 square feet. This is 2,500 West White Pine Lane, Park City, Utah. This seems like you are getting some land. This is built in 2001 and it is five full acres, but that HOA is going to run you $333 a month. Angel numbers. Um, so let's look at this house. This looks exactly like what a Utah mansion should look like to me. You have five acres of land. It's a log cabin. It, I think you might have two houses. That's interesting. Maybe the acreages go the opposite way. They wanted to be neighbors. Um, yeah. I don't love the gray couch. I feel like the furniture isn't really matching the vibe. Like I really like the house, but I feel like the furniture they picked isn't really matching the house that well. Like that is like with the natural wood stools, but I didn't like that gray couch for it. Oh, I like this breakfast corner. That's nice. Interesting art. Okay. Very interesting. 26 mil. It better be multiple houses. Phil at the bottom is so scary. I wanted him to make an impression on you. That's why I figured he can just stay there the entire time. Um, yeah, like I feel like the house is giving cozy and then this furniture just like really doesn't match the vibe I feel. I think it just like, like the, why, what? It's kind of giving like coastal vibe on the furniture. It doesn't not go at all. You can have a band here. What's happening with this art? Who is that? It's very jarring. Who is that? Is that a famous person? Who is that? Who's that man? Can someone answer, please? You have a fucking ski storage room, but I like this house. It looks like, yeah, that is your house. You have a guest house. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. For $26 million, we better have a guest house. The guest house is a little more cozy. This looks so like picture book with the snow. Oh my God. You have stables? You have stables? I feel like it was staged by a real estate agent. That is the real estate agent, actually. I'll ask my dad. <laughs> that is the type of person that, like, you ask your dad who it is. Um, sorry I keep burping. That's, like, so disgusting. I can't believe you have stables. And then you have a little office above your stables. 
This is, for those of you that watch Sister Wives, this is where Cody wanted Mary to live in the garage he was building. You have a little bedroom above? Like, this is, okay. This is old money. This is Yellowstone, people. Yeah, this whole thing is definitely yours because I think that's the house and then there's the stables down there. Imagine being like, honey, I have to go to the stables. I don't believe anyone is rich until I see horses. <laughs> so that was Park City, Utah. To keep going with the uh, Real Housewives lore, I am watching Real Housewives of the OC right now. I'm on like season six, I think. And on see the first couple of seasons, which was the first Real Housewives, not me lusting after Utah real estate. So the first couple of seasons of Real Housewives, uh, Real Housewives of the OC is the original Housewives. The first few seasons followed a specific gated community called Coto de Casa in Orange County. So they later expanded because people moved and they kept the same people on the show and whatever. Um, but I wanted to look at some of the houses in Coto de Casa, California, because some of them are quite interesting. So this is 4.95 or 4.995 million dollars this is seven beds it's eight baths over almost eight thousand square feet which is a lot as a kid i wanted to be rich enough to own a horse <laughs> can you please do a day for sister wives i've done it twice but i'll do it a third time i need to clean my stanley cup especially now that they're saying they have lead in them um this house is comical that looks like a movie set that does not look like, a, like, imagine walking up that driveway with a Publix bag. I would feel so embarrassed. You have a $5 million house and you got your playground in the front yard? For $5 million, you don't have a backyard? You only got a front yard? I thought that was like a white trash thing to put your playground in the front yard. <laughs> they have this little overpass thing. That's kind of nice in case it's raining. Should have taken that swing down for these photos. Uh, imagine lugging some bullshit up those stairs. Look at their little baby gate that matches their stairs perfectly. Um, I hate, hate, hate that little music note thing on the wall. I hate that because your piano's already right there. You didn't need anything on the wall there. Like, I feel like that was like a woman decorated this house and one day her husband came home with that music note thing and he was like, for the piano. And she had to be like, yeah, for sure. Thank you for the piano. Awesome. Because the painting is enough. I don't like that painting either. But the music note does make the grand piano look cheap. Also, this rug is too small for the space. Stop putting rugs that are too small. I get it. Rugs are motherfucking expensive. Just don't have one. You have a gorgeous wood floors. You don't need a rug right there. So instead of having this weird, like, whatever that pattern is, too small rug, just don't. Just don't do it. You don't need to. Whoa, lots of glass. I like this chair. The, I don't know, like gingham kind of print, like the checker looking. I like that chair. Rugs, go big or go home, exactly. These chairs are too low for this countertop. Whose torso is that long? Not mine, but also they have money for big ass weird rugs. <laughs> This room needs a rug. Also, why do you have this like Hobby Lobby Believe thing in front of what looks like a painting of Venice? Just have the painting of Venice. You don't need to believe in Venice. Also, I hate that candlestick holder with the blue candles. That looks so cheap. Hate, 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 hate. Also, that plant is fake. Get that fucking plant out of the shot. My water is really good today. I love when like some of the ice melts so it gets super, super cold. Love that. I do like the wall color. I do really like this blue. I will say that when you have money, but also love the craft store. Don't like that desk. That desk was not right for this space. This is such a man office. Like you have a desk that's wrong. I can't even tell you what's wrong with it. It's just wrong. And then a lazy boy and an ottoman. Like it's already a recliner. You didn't need the ottoman. Pick one. And you barely have any books on the shelves. And you have no art or photos. That's it. You don't want anything else in your office. I've seen that chair at Menards. What is this? What is happening on this bed? What is that? Do you guys see what I mean? That white? It looks like machinery. 
Is that like something y'all are into? What is that? Is that like a medical thing? What's happening? All right, weird little awkward hallway room. I feel like this couch is too close to that TV. Like you wouldn't be able to see the whole TV. I bet a TV comes up. Oh, interesting. Maybe you're right. That's a projector screen on the bed. You're right, you totally are right. I think the desk area should be the lightest place in the room, otherwise I can't focus. Yeah, I can see that, I can see that. There's the chair's sister. What? Oh, I can see. So that little awkward room was like off of this room. I would have just torn that wall down and made a bigger room. Cause it, there's not a doorway, so it's not like it's private. So just tear it down and have a bigger room. Interesting. Ugh, those bath mats. Why? No, that bath mat's wrong. I'm sorry. It's not right. See, that's a baby's room. I would be nervous with that many windows, though. They could just walk out onto that balcony at any moment in time. That's a lot. Another cute kid's room. I don't know what the large pieces of foam underneath the bed are. Walmart-looking bath mats. No, they really are. Okay, a playroom. Interesting. Home gym. Like, the furniture is really not matching the house. Because, like, the bones of this house are actually really good. Like, all the windows are good and modern. They have really nice floors. The cabin tree is really nice. But they have this, like, weird middle-class 2009 furniture in it, which makes no sense to me. Like, what's happening here? What is happening? Like, honestly, if I was the real estate agent, I would show this house with no furniture in it because the house is good. It's just the furniture that's bad. Like, look at that. Like, these are very nice fixtures. This is a brand new bathroom. Like, the sink is nice. Like, whatever. I forgot this was a gated community. I was like, why are the rooms so small? I mean, oh, the backyard is nice. You'd think a gated community. That feels like a waste of space. You'd think a gated community would have big houses. This house is pretty big though. It's 8,000 square feet. This, I don't like this like waterfall. I feel like I would rather just have a bigger pool than the waterfall. What it like that pool is not very big. Wouldn't you just rather have a bigger pool and not that like water feature? Um, but this is Koto de Casa, the neighborhood, gated community. They're right up against the hill. I guess that's why their playground is in their front yard. And here's a rendering of what the house could look like if you did something, I guess. They're, I like how the real estate agent was like, here's some Photoshop. You never know. Who's to say? Not me. Like, what is? They're like, what if we moved the pool to the front yard, moved the playground to the backyard? Just the thought. I was comparing it to the giant Utah houses. Oh yeah, this is outside of Los Angeles. Things are much more expensive there. Um, another Coto de Casa house. This is 2.8 million, just shy of 2.8 million. It's six bed, four baths, 5,000 square feet. Um, has decent curb appeal. They need to work on that street, these cracks in the street. Get it together, Coto de Casa. You're supposed to be a gated community. Okay, not starting off strong with the stereotypical Native American statue holding cigars. I would say maybe get rid of that. Not just for the photos, but just get rid of it completely. Also, what are these large planters directly in front of the door? Interesting choice. All right. I don't know how many motherfucking times we're going to have to bring up rugs. That rug has no business being in that room. Absolutely none. Also, what is the, what is this furniture? What is this? What is happening? The pillows match the chairs. The cross coffee table. The, the curved couches that seem very, very uncomfortable. Get a bigger coffee table. Like, no one's reaching that. Like, a mat. This is... I hate that. When you're at someone's house and they give you a drink, but their coffee table is so far from their couch that you're like... What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Um, and this is, again, in California, in Coto de Casa, which is in Orange County. Like, I'm trying to find something nice to say. I'm not finding anything. That rug is good. Okay, one good rug. I have to leave this stream because I just saw a mouse in my apartment. You got to deal with that. I'm sorry. I'm praying for you. Please look at the saddle stools. Please look at the saddle stools. I would like to bring everyone's attention 
to the saddle stools. Just joined and I'm loving this so far. Reminds me of bad Sims builds. I just, I'm going to wait a minute because I know you guys lag like a minute behind me. I just want everyone to notice the saddle stools. If we could just notice that. And yeah, why is the rug not centered? <laughs> what is with the fucking rugs? Also, the sign that says kitchen in the kitchen. I would like to draw your attention to the sign that says kitchen in the kitchen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is not one, but there are two kitchen in the kitchen signs. There are two signs that say kitchen in the kitchen. One of them is a wooden sign. The other one is printed onto the wall. If you cannot see it, they're on the back wall. There's one above the stove and then there's one right by that fan. There are kitchen signs in the kitchen. So if you didn't know, we're in the kitchen. And then why does, oh my God, why do the cabinets not match? Why do the cabinets not match? That's actually making me so fucking angry. Why do the cabinets not match? And look at the furry pillow in the seat. And like, they need more chairs. Why are the four chairs so close together? And then the ends are so far away. Why do they have a recliner in the kitchen? Why do you have a recliner couch in the kitchen? The Rod Wads kitchen, serving up memories since 2016. That's not that long. You had this taste in 2016? You picked this? There's a pantry sign on the pantry! <laughs> There's a pantry sign on the pantry! There's a pantry sign on the pantry. I need everyone to notice the pantry sign on the pantry oh it's the pantry in case anyone didn't know why are there the stools the recliners the kitchen signs like i'm really not okay oh i like their sink it's a good sink i like that kind of sink kitchen this would be fun to chase people around in <laughs> Not the rug. Not the rug. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the rug. <laughs> Why don't you have a headboard? <gasps> I wonder if they have bathroom signs on the bathroom. This is a very basket heavy bathroom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone had a very specific thing in mind. They said, all right, no cabinets, baskets, just baskets. Just baskets. Their style is colonial western Hobby Lobby. I think it's the same rug. They're just moving the rug around in the photos. There was a fire sale on small furry white rugs. All those baskets, but the comet is out. Comet on display. The, watch the fucking owner of this house like be an executive at Comet. He's like, turn the label out? Yeah, turn it out. Yeah, I want to see the full label. I want to see the full, full label. The rug, you guys. The rug. The rug. The fucking rug. I don't think they're the same one because they're all slightly different shapes. This is a kid's room. What kind of animal is in there? What do you have? Bathroom rules. Clean up after yourself. Wash your hands. Always use soap. Pick up your clothes. That's all I can pick up. That is a bathroom rug. They just cut it up and dispersed it around the house. The rug haunts every room. Whoever chose that rug should get a grip before they do something drastic. The rug is a sent sentient and is the spirit haunting the house. I hate those stupid sinks. Yeah, I don't really have a strong opinion about these sinks, but I would not pick them. I hate this cabinet. I hate these people's style. They should give us their money. They don't deserve it. We would spend it better than they are. These look like kids' rooms, so I'm not going to make fun of a kid because kids notoriously have terrible taste. But this stone tile, I would like to discuss. <clears throat> I don't hate the stone tile. I will say I do not hate this sink and this floor. What I will say is why the fuck would you paint the walls gray and put up a silver mirror and silver and purple gem art? That does not match it at all. 
They're pebbles, not even stones. This is what I mean, like, if you had, I'll say it again, if you did the walls in white, big mirrors, and, like, some, like, wicker art or, like, something, like, wood tone, like, or wood art, like, something not colorful or metal, like, something earthy, this could work very well. But no. You have a fucking Hobby Lobby crystal art, a white mirror, and fake flowers. And gray walls. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, a giant fish. Awesome. Exactly what I was thinking we needed. Just read my mind. So glad I thought of that. What is... Why would you even include that? You have a hill. Love that for you. In your hill era. Um, so moving out of Cota de Casa and into the greater Los Angeles area, actually, what time is it? We've already been here an hour. I might come back to these. We're going to go ahead and move on to some homes in Las Vegas. I felt like Las Vegas was really where some terrible decisions are made, design speaking and other speaking. This is $15.9 million, 669 Dragon Peak Drive. Imagine, imagine. You meet a guy on like Hinge or Tinder or something and you're hanging out and you go, oh, send me your address. And he texts you 669 Dragon Peak Drive. 669 Dragon Peak Drive. That sounds like a fake address. That sounds like a fake address. Um, every pool needs a water feature, apparently. Also, you can tell that this real estate agent is lazy because this is just a screenshot of the previous listing photos. You can tell because there's three dots right here. And it says 2022, even though this is an active listing. Lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Y'all just collecting your little commission checks, being lazy. Bad real estate agents, bad. A lot of real estate agents are good. Bad. I used to live there. Nothing in Henderson, Nevada is worth $16 million. If you're not into me, just say so. I don't need a fake address. The view kind of eats, though. I really, really like the big square with the pebbles in between. I really like that. I think that's really pretty. I like when people do their driveways like that, too. Um, I don't think it's very, like, practical, but I like the way it looks. Oh, they have one of the giant swivel doors. This house is very glass. I would feel so exposed here. And that staircase looks dangerous. This looks like an office building. This does not look like a home. This looks like an office building. This looks like you're here to meet with like a patent lawyer. Or like an entertainment lawyer. Oh, a wine cellar that's all glass. Wow. How groundbreaking. I don't like those chairs. Those look like PB teen chairs. I really don't like it. I think I would always be cold there. Yeah, it's a very like hostile energy. This is not a house for kids. No, there's never been a child in this house. I don't think there's any children in Henderson, Nevada. <laughs> um, nice view. They do have a nice view of Vegas. I'm upset about the cord hanging down there. Oh, an upholstered wall where your bed is custom built into the house. Fun. Nice. I really would not want to take a black light into this house. That's not something I would want to do. Those cubes also feel hostile. This house just has a very hostile energy about it. And these chairs too. Like, I feel like you really can't relax in this house. Like, it's very, very cold. A professional athlete definitely lives here. Like, the chairs, it's like... The doorways are too tall. Very masculine. All sharp angles. That's what I think the problem is. You nailed it. It's all sharp angles. There's not a singular curve in this house. And the floor, yeah, it's just like, I feel uncomfortable. Like, I feel like this is the type of house where if you drop something, everyone hears. Everyone hears it. And like, it's just cold in here. Like, why is it like that? <laughs> Please lounge in your most obtuse way. Even the outside chairs are angles. Why is there no curves? Why is everything sharp angles? And why no door on the bathroom? Like, this feels really, like, <laughs> pick me up. I'm scared. It does have hotel vibes. Even the desk. Can you just get, like, a normal piece of furniture, please? I would have so many bruises. Me too. Like, in these chairs don't look comfortable. There's not a single chair I've seen that I would want to sit in. 
this looks very like giving human trafficking. Even the sun can't help this house. It's really aggressive. A man who has no chill without drugs lives here, but somehow he also has no chill when he has the drugs. It's just he has even less when he doesn't. Like, look at that stool. That is literally lucite. It's like clear plastic. Like, if you have a muffin top, it will be very evident in that stool. Everyone will see your muffin top. Everyone. And they will judge you for it. There's also no color at all. Like, collecting back sweat like a motherfucker. Whose butts fit in those chairs? That's how they test if girls can hang out in the house, is if they fit in the lucite bar stools. I'm still not seeing any comfortable chairs. And this couch doesn't even have a back or arms. This couch is literally like the couches they have in dressing rooms. I'm scared of this house. I really don't like it. Like it's built for so many friends, but who would want to be there? <laughs> Nobody. Oh, the pool goes inside. Okay, it's better in the daytime. Okay, at least the pool chairs are curved. That's nice. There's... Back to angled furniture. The outside is really the only part that I like. You can sit, but don't get comfortable. This feels like an art installation that's supposed to symbolize something meaningful. It's Bojack Horseman's house. Oh my God, it kind of is. It's a nice pool. They know what they're doing with this outdoor space. I don't like the furniture they picked. It's more just angled. Like, please look at these outdoor dining chairs. They quite literally put as many angles on there as they humanly could. Like, it's just, there's no color, there's no personality. This room is the least horrible of all of them that we've seen. This is the only room I would be okay with sleeping in. This is totally giving male athlete who just bought the first furnished apartment their agent showed them and did nothing. <laughs> what is happening in this bedroom? Why is it a stage? And why are there lights? I would not be comfortable in a single part of this house. This house is so bland. This is a rich man's house for him to do parties and throw coke, not to live in. <laughs> or throw parties and do coke. Do parties and throw coke. And the bathrooms, like, I don't know why it bothers me that the counters, like, don't, or the cabinets don't go all the way to the ground, but it does bother me for some reason. That's nice. But how do you get in and out of this bathtub? That's pretty far. Like, you would literally have to be, like, sit down and crawl across that to get in there. The floating Wayfair vanity. It very much is hotel energy. Oh, more angled furniture for if you and five of your friends want to sit at this bar and stare directly into the sunlight. This is the house for you. So great job to Henderson, Nevada. Moving on to Las Vegas properly. This is 4525 Dean Martin Drive, unit 2503 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Two bedrooms, but it's 8,000 square feet. Two bedrooms, five bathrooms, 8,000 square feet. Was built in 2006. The HOA is a cool $4,500 a month. $4,500 a month in HOA. Two beds. Two bedrooms. To me, this is not a residence. This seems like more of an event space, like a party space than anything else. Like, look at the staircase, the chandeliers. Like, look at that couch. What do rich people have against being comfortable? What's the problem? This is not a sane bathroom to bedroom ratio. That's what I'm saying. It's not a house for people to live in. This has to be for parties. I'm guessing... There's two bedrooms with two bathrooms, and then they have three common area bathrooms for, like, events. It does feel like a casino. $4,500 each month for people to yell at you. This looks like a party place, not a living place. Yeah, it really does not. Like, no one's living here. What is this? This is just, like, a mental institution TV room with padded walls? Is that an elevator? That's a terrifying elevator if it's an elevator. I think that is an elevator. I really don't like that. I would not get in that elevator. So they have this giant outdoor area with this outdoor grill. I'm guessing that's a lot of their square footage is this outdoor space. I think it's this unit right here. This like two stories and then this outdoor space is theirs. It's visually very chaotic. Um, again, this is like in Las Vegas, like Las Vegas, Las Vegas. I just like, I've yet to see a room that I understand. 
is this a living room, I guess? Oh, and then that's the bedroom. Yeah, it seems like it is an event space with a condo attached to it. That's what this is, is someone who wants to throw parties literally every single day. An elevator, but somehow still not accessible to wheelchairs. That's so true. <laughs> Maybe a wedding venue with grooms and bride suites. Maybe you're right. But then this shower. I would not want to close the doors on that. Maybe it's just because I'm kind of claustrophobic, but like. Hmm. Place in the sky, balcony, Las Vegas strip facing over 10,000 square feet, living in entertainment space. So this is the main floor grand entrance. So it seems like, yeah, this is not really a place where people live. Yeah, so this is open to below. The upstairs has the master bedroom, which you're not supposed to say because it means the slave master. You're supposed to say the owner's bedroom. So it has the owner's bedroom upstairs and then downstairs it looks like it has that little awkward room. This is just a party house. This is not like a people house at all. So moving on to Arizona. This is in Sedona, Arizona. This is 120 Passiano Road, Sedona, Arizona. $9.2 million, six bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Primary bedroom is another phrase you can use. So I loved this picture with the night sky. They really did a good job on that. Um, this house looks like you asked AI to be like, make a mansion in Arizona. And this is what it would come up with. I do like this little outdoor sitting area. Sedona is very, very, very beautiful. Um, I'm not really sure what this little statue is. So I'm really confused about that. Mm, don't like this tile on the wall. Don't love that. Because I feel like this stained glass is very gorgeous, but they're taking away from it with that colorful tile and the colorful art. They should have just done like bland tile or wood or something so that you focused more on the stained glass. Because if you had also done like a beige tile, then the stained glass would reflect on it and that just would have been like a lot prettier and you're kind of wasting all that money you spent on stained glass because you really, you like you don't notice it at all. And it's pretty, so you should notice it. Again, with the uncomfortable stools, it's a no from me. How do you open these cabinet doors? Big commonality, you would not be able to find the trash can in any of these houses. Absolutely nothing on those counters. Nice job, listing agent. Great work. Oh, they have confusing light switches. That's perfect. Perfect. We love a confusing light switch. Okay. Lot going on here. Okay. We have it all. We have beanbag leather chairs. We have the ugliest rug you've ever seen. We have boulder tables. We have a large cough drop cushion. We have furniture that doesn't match. And again, with the stonework, like the stone around this fireplace is gorgeous. Why would you not lean into that? Like I would have done this room all in beiges and whites with a hint of turquoise to like match what's in that stone. Like literally everything beige and white, maybe like a blanket in that turquoise or a pillow in that turquoise or like a little thing to sit on the table because like you're not noticing this gorgeous stone on this fireplace because of this fugly rug. These chairs are awkward. That's just an awkward space. Like, come on. It has so much potential. That's why I picked this one because they started so strong and then did this. Like, this house really could be awesome. I feel like that's such the theme of tonight is we've seen so many houses that could be so cute, but they just fuck them up. Like, what is this? Why do you have, like, again, either of these tiles would have been cute or this, like, kind of busy looking wood would have been cute. You cannot do all of those things at the same time. That is so overwhelming to look at. I had high expectations after seeing the outside and I'm disappointed. Aren't we all? Some yoga. Oh my God, this one has 93 photos. There's no way we're looking through all of these. I was trying to figure out what that was. I was like, what the fuck is this room? It's a closet. More stained glass that's being overshadowed by ugly furnishings. I'm just not into it. Like all of this... All of this dark stonework, marble, like I'm not into it. The wine cellar is very odd. Like why do you have these 
horrible stools in a wine cellar. Like if you're going to be sipping expensive wine, you probably want to sit in a comfortable chair. And the light fixture looks like it's from a Chili's in like 2005. And I don't mean that in a positive way. And then you have more art over here. Like this just makes no sense. For If this is going to be a wine sipping room, wouldn't everyone be sitting together? Wine cellar as if it was rich people jail. Yeah, this is just awkward. And like it's a kitchenette, but all it has is a couch. Like you don't have like, this is just so weird to me. Oh, you have a keg. Cool. So you can put things on tap. Step into my crappy break room and sip wine. Yeah, it looks like a WeWork break room. This isn't bad. They did a good job with that. And I love a sauna. I always love a sauna. So there's your fake grass for your dogs or whatever. You have a tennis court, whatever that is. The land is nice. This is pretty. Oh my God. What is the wallpaper? What is that wallpaper? What is happening? Oh, not Native American statues again. Not the cowboy squat photo. What's happening? Why is that cowboy squatting like that? I'm uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable with that. Zero stars. Is this like a rec room? What is this? It's like your little rec room for your tennis. Like it looks like it would be a part of a separate house. Let me look at the aerial photo again. I think it's this back part right here. That's like this kind of wreck area, it looks like. I don't know. That's very awkward to me. Penny backsplash. Again, the pennies could have been cool, but because you have dark wood, no one's noticing it. If you had done like a whitewash wood or something like that, people would notice the pennies and they're actually kind of cool. The wallpaper is the rug stolen from all the past houses. More sad beige baby pool table and ping pong table. <clears throat> I like that sink. What is that wallpaper? It's all old newspapers. What is that? And some of them are the same ones repeating and they're like faces. What is this? What have we stumbled upon? This is very creepy. I'm scared. Oh, I like that shower. Yeah, here's more of this like outdoor area. Yeah, that's that kind of rec room. It's definitely what we just thought was in there. Ugh, Jesus. Looks like we are looking at all the photos. Oh, that's cool. I like that it's kind of like multi-level. I think I understand it better now. They really like concrete counters. They really, really do. This room is better. This room is better. I don't love the wood choice, but we're getting somewhere. Very orange. That, the color orange is really prevalent, I think. I feel like they would have a fallout bunker. I do too. Okay. Interesting. Let's move on. Um, let's move on to Alabama. So let's look at some of the tastes that people in Alabama have. This is $3.3 million, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,500 square feet in Auburn, Alabama. It is shocking to me that people will pay $3 million for a three bedroom house in Alabama, but it is on 46 acres. So if you never want to talk to anyone ever again, this is the house for you. Um, are we getting Orlando, Florida? We are. We are getting Orlando, Florida, I believe. Uh, the guest house always seem to look better because they don't take good advice for space because they take good advice for spaces they don't care about. Three million for Auburn. Yeah, but it's 46 acres. So I guess you could turn this into like a neighborhood. Coffee sign for the coffee bar. Of course, gotta have it. Don't like the black cabinets. That does not look good at all. Really terrible, actually. A cow rug, perfect. Absolutely perfect. The 46 acres explains the price tag, yeah. I wonder how much it would be like not on 46 acres. How else will I know where my coffee is? Lots of horse art. Very horse heavy house. More horses. Is that a chandelier made of antlers? It is. Okay. Very Hobby Lobby coated. You're right. What is it with these cubes at the foot of the bed? What is that? What is, what is that situation? The rugs make sense in Arizona, but Georgia, this is Alabama. Awesome. More pieces of dead animals. Just what we need. 
Multiple pairs of boots. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No notes. Rayleigh. This is little Rayleigh's room. Riley? No, Rayleigh. Her name is Rayleigh. R-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. Rayleigh. Not Riley. It's Rayleigh. Yep. They should have thrown an I-G-H on the end of that. Why not? Why the hell not? Rayleigh's got a horse. A little tidy baby horse for baby Rayleigh over there. Rayleigh got this kid unfriendly sink. This is not a kid friendly sink at all. Whoever pointed that out earlier. A dream catcher for Rayleigh to catch all of her dreams. Wonk sink. The most awkward room ever. This looks like the room, like, you know, when people do IVF and the guy has to like go do his thing. This looks like the room that they put them into me. Like just a couch and a TV, nothing else. It's very awkward. Get over here, Ray Lily. <laughs> Can I get a cultural appropriation? What if Rayleigh is like 17? Rayleigh Ann Marie. Stop making fun of Rayleigh, you guys. She doesn't deserve it. That's insanely specific, but it's right. Oh, more of the terrible sinks. Oh, more horse art, except this horse art is on a pedestal next to the displayed cowboy hats, naturally, and the terrible sink, except this one is white and black. You know, you just need a shiplap wall in your laundry room. Not all of them, just one of them. Just one shiplap wall. Oh, it's a nice pool. I do love a pool. Why, okay, why does the outside of this house look like a trailer? Please look at this. This looks like a, the nicest trailer in the trailer park, and it's $3.3 .3 million. But they do have horse stables. Does it come with the horses? Does it come with the horses? Does it come with the horses stuff? They have a whole little kitchen and all this like area in their horse stable. And this is the horse stable apartment where they let their favorite horse sleep. He gets to come inside. Look at the buffalo art and the horse toilet paper holder with the little spot for your phone. It's the details, people. It's the details. Rayleigh is a horse girl name for sure. Do you think that they made the horses run around for the photos or did they Photoshop them in? Or was it a coincidence? The land is beautiful. I will give them that. So, I don't know, why did the Alabama one paste twice? That's weird. Anyway, moving on to Florida. This is Windermere, Florida. This is outside of Orlando, I believe. This is $30 million, $30 million, nine bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, in case you and seven and 16 of your friends wanna all take a shit at the same time, 20,000 square feet, the HOA is $520 a month. It is on 4.7 acres and it was built in 2010. This is absolutely atrocious. This is a compound. I am so jarred by this. Please look at it. Look at how large this fucking house is. I was waiting for this house. It's insane. <laughs> look at it. Look at the house. Look at the driveway. Look at the backyard. Look at how insane this is. Imagine stocking toilet paper in 17 bathrooms. So right off the jump, this little open area does look like the waiting room of a executive office. Like it really, really looks like where you would wait to talk to a good lawyer. Um, $30 million, but can't afford a full set of dining chairs. Had to go with this bench. All right. What is that? What is that? What is happening? Why are the walls striped? Why are the five chairs all different colors? Why is there a turtle on the table? Why are there two red and white polka dot chairs? Why is there a fish on the wall? Why does the light fixture say 18? Why is there a ram between the windows? Why are there antlers? I don't understand how we could fit so much weird into such a small space. <sighs> okay. Rich people, I know you love the zebra wood. I know you like talking about the zebra wood. I know you love decorating with the zebra wood. The zebra wood is not working for you. It is not working in this space. It does not match. You should not have two different woods in the same kitchen. 
especially when they clash with each other, does not look good. Just does not look good. And then your floors are also a different wood, and then you have these cabinets in a different wood, and then more zebra wood on the furniture. You have a fish tank. That's cool. <sighs> they put the aerial photo of the house on both of the TVs in this photo. Okay. I guess. <sighs> the wine cellar, the glass doors. God, I'm tired of these people. What This couch does not match this room at all. Is this an office? Why would the couch be right there? If I was half this rich, my house would just be an aquarium. Oh, more aerial photos of the house on the TVs. Perfect. You know, just your room with your 10 guitars and elliptical. In case you want to play 10 guitars, you have a folding chair and an elliptical. Just an average little room. More aerial photos on the TV. Love that we got our money's worth from that aerial photographer. Love that for us. Absolutely hate this carpet. I also think the singular recliner in the corner, that is a good 15 feet away from the other recliner, is an interesting choice. Would love to see two people have a conversation there. Okay. Um, why is there a clown mouth bowling alley? Just real quick, why is there a clown mouth bowling alley? with a half circle couch that looks like it came from a nightclub. Oh, good. More aerial photos of the house on the TV. More. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. Theater, pretty normal. Little mad that that one chair is misplaced. Would have taken two seconds to put it back. Oh, I see. I see that the doorknobs are baseball bats. Should have. I spoke too soon. Not normal. We were so close, you guys. We were so, so close to looking normal. So very close. They saw it at the nightclub and gave the bouncer coke so they could have it. 20,000 feet square feet is the size of a warehouse, not a home. Video game room. This is an athlete's house for sure. Who is this person? Does anyone know who this person is? This looks like a baseball person, which I would know nothing about. Oh, the stairs. When people have theater rooms with four chairs, why? Because they don't have friends. They don't have friends. This is a statue of what looks like two elves skiing. There's also LED lighting on the staircase, which is a very specific choice. Okay, so like, I want a bed and I want there to be a bed frame but instead of like a like a footboard or like a bench, I want it to be like a smaller bed at the edge. So like it's the bed frame, but it's also a bed. Like what is this? Is this like when you're so when your kids get sick at night, they can sleep in there? A double decker bed. There's so much happening. Tiny rug. What is it with the bath mats from Walmart? Stop using bath mats from Walmart as rugs for real estate photos. More aerial photos of the home. Perfect. I was hoping we would get more of them. Family movie night so you have easy access to kick your children's heads. They 100% have kids. It's like a trundle. I guess I could see where it's helpful if you have kids. Why is there LED lighting on the tub in the bathroom? That feels like an unnecessary choice to me. And a full barber shop within the home. Okay. Oh, it's a kid's room. That's kind of fun. This is a kid's room. I think this is fun for a kid's room. Fuck it. Like, make your kid's room a jungle. This is what I think, like, rich people should be doing. Like, yeah, make your kid's room literally look like Disney World. Fuck it. Same with this one. You got some animals going on. Custom dragon furniture. Nice. Great work. Oh, I do really like this outdoor space. This is a nice outdoor space. I like the ceiling. And I like the furniture they picked here. The pool is a lot. It has a hot tub. It has whatever that is. It has a slide. It has a waterfall. It has like a little gazebo that looks like a swim up bar. OMG is that little foot. What little foot? That was the kids room from Dragon Tales. This looks like a resort pool. The pool does go hard. This pool balcony also does go hard. This is so like 
When people ask if I want kids, I want kids if I can live in a house that has a balcony where I can yell at them in the pool from the balcony of my bedroom. I'll have kids if I have that. That works for me. The pool does go really hard. A lot of garages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think the picture was taken within one. So good, probably 10 cars can fit in there. That's a lot. Big ass playground, nice trampoline, dock access to this lake in Florida. So that was odd. A lot going on with that house. Just to go back to this, I think this was the most important part of it. The kids' rooms are giving grandkids. I don't know why. The garage looks like an apartment complex. So moving on to Orlando, this is $19.5 million. 12 bedrooms and 15 bathrooms, 9291 Point Cypress Drive, Orlando, Florida. This house is a lot. Let me just warn you. This house is a lot. This does not look like a house. This looks like an Airbnb experience. Or this looks like um, like Epcot, you know, where it looks like all the countries. That's what this house reminds me of. Oh, Rainforest Cafe. That's the perfect description of it. So... Starting off super strong with fake leaves quite literally everywhere. If you can think of a spot to put a fake leaf in, they have put one there. This library does go hard as shit. The spiral staircase with the library is really, really, really cool. I will grant them that. What I do like about this house is they stayed consistent with it. Like I can tell design decisions were made here and they really, really committed to the bit. This would never feel clean to me. I think so too. There's lots of like nooks and crannies here. Um, this area is cool. This little outside spot is a vibe. This is a very 90s tile. You can tell this house hasn't been updated in a while, but I kind of like it. It looks better than a lot of the modern terrible choices people are making. Yeah, it just looks dated, but it looks like they had this very specific vibe in mind. Got some good old 90s style office chairs. Got a big old office room and nothing. Straight up nothing. Got a theater room. This is very much giving for grandkids. Look at the little stuffies in here. I think I had a dream set in this house once. The, um, <coughs> the library is really cool though. I do really, really like the library feature that they have. That is pretty awesome. Like, it's just, like, why is there a giant bear in the primary bedroom just slumped over like that? And it really does look like the Rainforest Cafe. Like, the, the leaves literally everywhere. It would never feel clean. Oh, my God. And all these cabinets. Is this the bathroom? Why do you have, like, so many bookcases in your bathroom? These people are living a life I know nothing about. I feel like Phantom of the Opera plays on a loop in that office library. Hey, want to fall down my spiral staircase with me in my badass home library? Something like this house is kind of cool, but it's kind of weirding me out. It's like if Tarzan was a homeowner. Look at the carpet. Oh my God. That's scary. I don't like it. It's giving Jumanji a series of unfortunate events. Someone killed someone on this roof. I'm convinced of it. What is that? Is this like a chiropractic thing? What is this? We got the nice overhang so you don't get rained on. That cannot be the main kitchen. For almost $20 million, you're going to tell me that's the kitchen? Why are there holes in the walls? They look like they're very intentional, too. There's so many spiral staircases. Yeah, I feel like the fake leaves would get dusty. Why does this room not get any leaves? What did this person do? Like, I... I have no idea what the layout of this house is, you guys. Like, I feel like a lot of them, I can kind of, like, gather how it's laid out. No idea. No idea how this house is laid out. Lots of detail shots. This is very odd. This house has a very weird energy about it. Look at it. And it's, like, water on all sides. It's, like, no one can get in or out. Oh, one hurricane. You're done. How do you get onto this property? Is that, th that looks like the road right there. Yeah. It's literally water on like all sides except where the road is. Like people have died here. This has very dangerous game energy. Someone has shoved someone off of this little walkway. I'm convinced of it. More detailing of the tile. This is a lot. I'm not interested in touring this home. 
So I wanted to get to some like real, 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 like the rich of the rich of the rich. So <coughs> the next two houses, great job. You've been live for 90 minutes. Don't forget to take a break. Mind your business. Um, the next two houses are on Fisher Island. For those of you that don't know, Fisher Island is in Miami. It's right next to Miami Beach or right south of Miami Beach. It is only accessible by yacht, helicopter, or ferry boat. Um, and it is an indulgent retreat for those who appreciate the ultimate privacy and exclusivity. Since 2015, Fisher Island has had the highest per capita income of any place in the United States. So this is the highest per capita income of anywhere in the United States, Fisher Island. And again, you can only get here. This is where it is. Literally, like, so this is South Beach where it says Point Park. That's South Point Park. That's South Beach, like what you see on TV. Fisher Island is, like, right there. They could easily build a road to it. They have chosen not to. So they sold it. This sold in the last two days. That's crazy. Oh, no. No, it didn't. What the fuck? Did I grab the wrong link or something? Damn it. This one. Okay, here we go. $42.5 million, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 7,000 square feet, and your HOA is $11,599 a month. $11,000 thousand dollars a month in HOA. So let's look at the house or condo. Again, five beds, six baths, $42 million. I don't know what these weird triangle things are, but I do not like them. I do not like them at all. I literally can't fathom this. Me either. Like it's so, so a lot. $11,000 admission fee to the Wealthy Loser Club. When the estimated monthly payment is six years of your income, anyone, someone having enough money to own this home and afford the HOA should be illegal. The chandeliers look great though. Um, I don't know what these weird caged tables are. Like you cannot even put a drink on this. What is this good for? What are you putting on that table? Nothing. I like the white. I like like the wood texture with the white. That's nice. They did a good job on that. Gorgeous view. I see why. I see, I see the vision here. That is dope as hell. Not even, not even going to lie. I'm very jealous of that. Um, stone table. Again, what is their issue with flat surfaces? Why is everything natural shaped? Can't we just have a normal person table? So this is Fisher Island. You can see it's like a few buildings of very, very expensive, um, like condos. And then it's just like golf courses in the middle. There's private, there's a private school on Fisher Island. Like they have their own little grocery store. These people never leave. Like, well, they do leave. They just only leave by helicopter. They never interact with the general public known as us. Um, more of the wine cellars, always a wine cellar. This is very like, this looks like a kid's table at like a doctor's waiting room like the chairs are very very tiny and close to the ground it looks virtually staged but it's not yeah I don't like that table that's so awkward very very weird and then I feel like this wood is weird too like why is everything like black and white and then you have this random wood spot there's people who are starving and homeless wait who, who works the grocery so I actually looked into this because I applied for a job on Fisher Island when I was looking to get out of teaching I applied for a job that was like a learning and development. Like you trained like the waitresses and stuff like that. There is a ferry to get on Fisher Island. You go and park your car and then get on the boat and it takes you there. And so the it cost money to go on the boat. So apparently most people that work there, their like boss gives them like a little pass thing to let them on the boat so they can you park. You can park your car on the boat and go with your car, but that's expensive as fuck. So most people that work there just like park and then go to the island because I also know more about it. A, I looked into it because I was applying for a job there and I just wanted to know how that worked. And then B, when I did work at the real estate office, a guy that worked there used to be a maintenance guy on Fisher Island. And he told me it was such a pain in the ass that the ferry's late all the time. Sometimes it's full and people always get in trouble for being late to work when it's really the fucking ferry. And like, if you want your employees to be able to get to work on time, maybe don't live in a place that's only accessible by boat or helicopter. That's not a recipe 
for people to get to work on time. Um, I do really like a lot of the choices they made, like furniture wise. See, Miami real estate agents usually know what they're doing. A lot of them are bad people, but they know what they're doing. Um, this is beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. So that's South Beach right there. You literally have like a view of South Beach as your view. Like there's a reason this has all the rich people. They found a cool spot. That couch looks very comfortable. Imagine the nap you could take on that. But anyway, moving on from Fisher Island, these are some random East Coast finds. This is in South Carolina. Let me close some of these tabs. This is 1277 De Bordeaux Boulevard, Georgetown, South Carolina. It is $4.9 million, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 5,700 square feet. And let me just tell you, these are some choices here. Very, very specific choices. Very long driveway, right on the beach, right on the water, coming in hot, double staircase with emerald carpeting with gold bars to hold the carpet onto the stairs. This is very old money. I'm very intimidated by these stairs. This house screams old money and it has not been redecorated in a while. Sorry, my water's just like really good tonight. Um, the window treatments are a lot. There's a lot I'm looking at visually here. There's a lot of upholstery going on. There's a lot of textures. There's a lot of patterns. There's just a lot happening here. Um, maybe let's remember that we don't have to put furniture in every single square foot of the house. Some spots are okay without a chair in them. It doesn't have to have an object in every single spot. <sighs> Interesting. Interesting window choices. That's like 17 conversation areas. No, literally, it's very jarring. This house is very dated. This is screaming like old money, but they lost it and now we're selling it, you know? Look at the arches. This is a lot. Some of those chairs have never been sat on. Yeah, this is a, this is like, these people had money in the 90s when they decorated this. This is very, 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 very 90s, I feel. This is like 90s Southern old money with all the window treatments. These are all custom window treatments. These window treatments probably cost thousands of dollars. The green carpet, very, very 90s. The fact that the window treatments match the bedspread and the little couch, that's a lot. Like, let's talk about that. And the columns, very interesting. Built-ins, I do like the built-ins here. The matching eats, honestly. Oh, does it also match the wallpaper? It does. How did they find wallpaper and fabric and window treatments? This ate in 1993. No, it really, really did. They said, I had it perfect and I don't feel the need to update it. The fake flowers above the bathtub, incredible. Custom, custom. This is money right here. This is wealth that you and I cannot even fathom. God. This would have been in a magazine. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's a really nice view though. It's a nice balcony. I want to see the neighbor's house. Their house looks newer. What's going on with y'all? <clears throat> All right. Love a, love a twin room. I really like these little crab pillows, but they don't match this room at all. But honestly, I would put that in my house. Very intense wallpaper. Looks like this bathroom did get updated, but I don't mean that as a compliment. I think it looked better before, and I don't even know what it looked like. Look at the painting. I know coordinating this decor was their full-time job for a few months. There was a woman in 1992 that was stressed about this. Look, this, this bedroom has the matching till. It is the bedspread matching the window treatments again. This actually looks so much like my parents' house when they bought it. My parents live in a house that was a rich person's vacation house. Like my parents live there all the time, but they bought it from someone that like had money like this in the 90s and decorated it like this. And when my parents bought it, that's exactly how it looks. Like it had custom custom window treatments everywhere that matched the bedspreads. It had green carpet and blue carpet. Like it was very much like this house exactly. We need this decorator's testimony. Need her on stream. Oh my God. Look at the angel babies coming off the walls. Imagine you stain the bedding and how mad your mom would be. Imagine if you spilled like nail polish on that. You're, you're never coming back from that. I like how every room has it too. Not every room, but most of the bedrooms have it. Why is there a microwave in the laundry room? 
Is that some kind of hack that I don't know about? The wallpaper is really just such a, such a choice. Ugh, such a choice. I do like this balcony looking beyond your driveway. It's like, who dare come on my land? Look at that. I would not want to walk up that driveway. I mean, you can't. There's a gate. Ugh. Quite the choice. Moving on to North Carolina. This is... 6510 New Market Way, Raleigh, North Carolina. This is $8.99 million and it is 16,000 square feet. This is an estate. This is absolutely an estate. Imagine delivering DoorDash there. Yes, we were at the beach. We were at the beach in South Carolina, but now we're in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is not the beach. This is like the Great Gatsby house. I'm kind of scared. And it has a golf course. Is that their golf course? Oh my God, look at it, you guys. This is so scary. Wait, what are the other houses like? Why is there a parking lot right there? Oh, I guess this is the golf club and you live right next to the golf club. Good for you. Gated columns. Is that the front? What's the front? Like, is that the front? I think that is the front, I guess. It does have a very sinister vibe. I would not want to knock on that door. This is scary. I'm scared of this house. Oh my God. They have so many detailed shots. Oh my God. It's so awkward looking. I feel like this is where the Kardashians take you to kill you. Like the squares, the piano, the two doors or three doors. This is, someone has suffered here. What is this place? What's happening? What is this? This is dangerous, let me out of here, the lights cut out. His and hers taken to the extreme. This is what I imagine the Mormon, Mormon temp temple is like. The person who owns this definitely believed in Nexium. Voltaire vibes, this is like, and I don't, oh my God, I'm like literally, I'm like at a loss for words, I'm so terrified. With the two little matching stools and the four coffee tables that are the same, it's giving MLM girls trip. Is that a fucking cord? That is a lamp cord. That is a fucking lamp cord. Are you serious? $9 million, you can't move the lamp cord. This house is insane. What the fuck? The drums? Like there's just so much space. And then the kitchen is like weird. It's like an island, but it's like a little service galley. <clears throat> it's so symmetrical that it's unsettling. It's time to get Lula lost. And then, like, what is this door with this little, like, panel on it? Is that an elevator? It looks like an elevator. What's this room? I've yet to see, like, a normal room. I could not sleep there. Look at those doors. Imagine playing the drums and how loud they would echo. What is happening? What is this shower bath combo? What is that? Oh, I don't like that. This is a very cursed energy. What is this room? This is the most awkward dining room I've seen in my life. The table is way too small for this room. And what is that art? Fishbowl shower, the ceiling, like, this is so very weird. It's giving an attorney's office. Those stools do not match at all. There's not another bright white surface in this entire house. Why did you pick those stools? Why do all the windows and doors give cellar? It feels not human. You're right. And then like <clears throat> these chairs are very weird for a breakfast area. It feels so low for how large the house is. Is that like a praying mantis sculpture? They have these square holes in the walls with like sculptures of bugs. And then like a Chinese art print. This kind of looks like a study or like a kid's room, but all there is is this like weird table that looks like you'd play blackjack at it. 
And then, like, this staircase, it's terrifying. Where does this staircase even go? Why is there a huge bulletproof door? Is this a bunker? It's their wine cellar, but I think it's a bunker. There's multiple huge wooden door or huge metal doors. This place is weird. I don't like it here. Pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, do you think you'll do more history stuff in the future? Probably in the summer. Um, and I also have some stuff I do want to do, but usually because like now at work I talk about history all day, I kind of just like want to do something else, you know, but probably again. That's the panic room, as in ghouls trap you in there and you panic. <laughs> okay, at least the outside is normal. Outside's looking pretty normal. Pretty normal furniture, outdoor kitchen. Dare I say, normal. All right, let's go through some of the other ones. <clears throat> some of the ones in Texas were insane. Let's look at this one in Dallas. We're not going to have time to look at all the ones that I found, but maybe we can just do this again. The windows are all grids. Yeah, exactly. So interesting. This is, I forgot to read you how we usually do. This is $16.5 million. This is in Dallas, Texas. It is six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and 14,000 square feet. Um, very like sculptured manicured lawn going on here. Do you need a new roof? What's going on with your roof tiles over here? That's weird. Do you have the most expensive noted? Nah, sorry. Didn't think of that. Assuming we might not have gotten there yet. Didn't even think of that going into it. What, cause what I do is like every city is so different. I just kind of looked by city and I looked at different price points depending on the city. Oh, I don't hate this, but that art is weird. This man just with like a cloth. What is that? Interesting statue. Interesting, interesting statue. Very religious art. Aggressively religious art, if you ask me. Are those the same chairs? No, but they're disturbingly similar. Out of a chair that to love so much that you get two versions of it, yellow leather and black wicker is like a very specific choice. Check the address on Google Maps and it's University Park right by SMU. Hmm. More very religious art over here. Okay. It's always with the uncomfortable chairs. More uncomfortable looking coordinating chairs. For sure, for sure. Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't like the rug. The rug doesn't match at all, but I like a screen porch. That's a nice moment. Is that a paddle? Or an oar? Is that like to hit kids or row a boat? More weird, unmatching, uncomfortable chairs. More weird, uncomfortable chairs. What is the obsession with uncomfortable chairs? And the chairs never match. Like, yeah, those, there's four bar stools and there's four chairs and they match, but they don't go together. They don't make sense together at all. And I think these people have like expensive art because some of it has this plastic around it. So I feel like it's like, it's real art, like museum type art. More uncomfortable chairs. Incredible. We love an uncomfortable chair. That staircase is terrifying. It looks like the staircase from the Devil Wears Prada. Um, I don't know what possessed you to have a zebra print ottoman with a striped carpet, but I would like it to unpossess you because that is completely unacceptable. More expensive art in plastic. A lot of money stored in the art of this house. Very intense white marble. They said, we want you to know that we can afford white marble. Lots of mirrors and more expensive art. And that couch does not go with that art at all. That couch, I do love that couch. I love the leafy couch. I think it's really cute. I just think it doesn't match the art at all. How do you get in that bed? That's so tall. I'm confused. And that, this upholstery doesn't match the linens. I don't like that. Like, it's like the checkered, colorful drapes behind the beds, but then the bedspread, like the comforter, doesn't match that at all. And then this hallway is awkward. This house is just weird. And like, why do you have a British flag here? And then like, you need stairs to get into your giant bed. Just get a normal bed. 
I would be scared to get my period in that bathroom. <laughs> they need that lady from the last house. <laughs> oh my god. I like the outside though. The outside is like very intense rich person energy. Let's do one more. <clears throat> um, let's do this one that I said the art is weird. Oh, let's this is good. We'll finish with New York, New York. $25 million, four bedrooms, five bathrooms in New York City, baby. New York City. Love the villain couch. Very nice product placement with the Hermes blanket. That's a very lame of you. More angled chairs. We love an angled chair, apparently. Very hostile. I feel like I'm in a fishbowl. Imagine a helicopter driving past you. You'd be like... Hi. How are you? Um, in a country that charges the fuck out of people accessibility, these rich people are deaf making a choice for their homes and furniture to be so uncomfortable. Why is it like four different couches? I My sister is really into the house tours on YouTube, so I've seen them with her. Interesting, like, Lego light fixture. Great view. That's a gorgeous view. I can't even argue with that. And I that rug is weird, but at least it's the right size. You know, for when your therapist comes to your house. Is that the same spot? It looks like they just staged the same spot differently. I'm very confused about, like, the layout here. I guess that's the other... Oh, I see. It's like a wraparound the other side. That chair looks so uncomfortable. Look how slanted it is. It looks like it's missing a piece. I like the light wood. This is very like stereotypical rich person house. So this is the kitchen that the rich person gets to make their coffee in every morning. And then this hidden kitchen is where their servants make their actual food. Don't like that couch. Don't like that leather couch. I also really, really, really hate the rugs. I really don't like these rugs. They're too busy and I don't like it. Hostile bathroom. <clears throat> it's so boring. It really is. Spoke too soon. What the fuck is that chair? What the fuck is that chair? Need someone to talk about the ski mask chair. What is that? Ma'am? Who is that? That kind of height would make me feel ill. Why? Also, why does the concrete block have a rope? What is this? What's that for? Is there a function behind it? And then this table has like a a cane why does the table have a cane and for you to have a room in New York City that literally just has a desk with a chair a lamp and then another chair you have stupid money if you have space like that in New York that's insane oh I kind of like the fuzzy chairs that's fun hate that carpet absolutely hate it what is that what is that? Is that to sit? That looks like anti-homeless architecture, but it's inside your house. Like, what is that? I'm so confused about what the point of that chair is. And again, there. And why do you have, like, the gun range things as art? That's so weird. Why do you have that as art? That's not normal to have gun range art. And then what... Is this your chair to ponder? Just to sit and ponder life? <laughs> what have you? Then they have some view pictures. This is a picture of the building. This building looks aggressive. I really don't like that. But anyway, thank you for joining me to shame the rich and make fun of some very expensive houses on Zillow. For those of you that did not see my little banner down there, next week we will be streaming on Tuesday because Wednesday's Valentine's Day. So next week we will be streaming on Tuesday and we will be talking about Dr. Phil. Don't leave yet because I want to do a poll on if you like this. Do you like shaming the rich? Because I had an idea. I was like, this time we did houses, but we could do other things. What if we did like... We made fun of like overly extravagant baby showers or weddings or we made fun of like clothing like we look at a different website or like we make fun of like you know those random trends like golden goose or something like that. I'm going to give you a poll for that. Yes. 
just houses though. Okay, it's gonna take me a couple seconds to do this poll, so entertain yourselves and come up with other ideas. Ooh, cars is a good one. All right, I just gave you a poll. <clears throat> Thank you, more shame in a funny way. Cause I feel like we're not being too mean. Like we're, we're being mean, but we're not hitting below the belt. You know what I mean? I'll give people a little bit longer to vote. Do you like shaming the rich? You have a couple choices. It's going like crazy on my screen right now. For TikTok, I'm gonna go ahead and say night night to you. Goodbye. Mwah. And thank you to anyone that is a subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, love you, laughing for you. I'm seeing people are really into the parties. Okay, interesting. I think that would be cool. I was also thinking we could do like a price breakdown. Like how much did these people spend on a cake? Like stuff like that. Can we get a Kamala Harris stream? I know nothing about her other than we did it, Joe. So this, this might be a take that some people might not like. So I'm just going to say it. I don't want to do a stream about Kamala Harris because she has done a lot of things in her career that I really disagree with. And I don't want to just like be on stream talking shit about like the first black female vice president of the United States. Because like, even though I disagree with a lot of the policies and a lot of like the drug laws that she helped create, enforce, and prosecute, that is still like a big milestone for our country. So I just like kind of don't want to go there because I don't want to just like talk shit about her because I think that that's like disrespectful, but I don't want to go through her career and leave out the things I disagree with because I think that's disingenuous, you know? Baby's getting basically sweet 16 level party. So this is the result of our poll. A lot of y'all really want the party shamed. I'll get on that. Like we can look at like the Kardashians birthday parties and shit like that. This will be good. Yay. So thank you for joining. Please come back on Tuesday, not Wednesday. It'll be Tuesday for Dr. Phil. Have a great night. Thank you for joining and I will see